Hey guys, it's JB from Will Fly for Food. It's my last day and my last night here in Hue. And I saved the most special meal for tonight. Um, Royal Hue Court Cuisine. Um, when I first heard about it, I thought it was like dishes which were inspired by Royal Court Cuisine, but it's actually a set meal, a set course meal, like maybe nine courses. So um, I made reservations. I'm on my way there tonight. I booked a grab. I'm super hungry, so this should be awesome. Let's go. As you can see, the grab bike dropped me off right here in this really wooded, secluded area by, by a stream. And here's the place I'm going to tonight. Ancient Hue Garden House. Okay, it looks really snazzy, it looks super nice. Um, I did a lot of research for this and most places which offer the Royal Court Cuisine had subpar reviews except for this one. This one had stellar reviews all around. Um, it was also the most expensive place, but you know, I figured if I'm only gonna be doing this one, so might as well do it right. You know what I mean? All right, guys, here's tonight's set menu. Let's count the dishes, yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, guys, here's the first course, first appetizer. It's the Dragon and Phoenix appetizer. Look at a beautifully carved dragon over here. It's made out of carrot. And then here's the phoenix. Looks like a chicken. But it's supposed to be a phoenix. Still cool. Look at that. Fancy. Alright guys, so it's time for the second and third courses. Uh, the next two starters, they came out at the same time. This one is the banana blossom salad with chicken. And on the same plate, just behind it, is uh, fried shrimp on a flower boat. Ah, that looks so good, look at that. Mm, I can't wait to dig into that. This is the, the next course, the soup. This is a Chinese mushroom soup with seafood. It has some corn in here, some egg, a beautiful piece of shrimp right there. All right guys, it's time for the main course. Um, we got three dishes here. What you're looking at right now is a royal stewed filet red snapper. Oh, this looks phenomenal, look at that. Glistening with deliciousness. And check this out. It's got a carving of a goldfish. And what we have right here is a grilled beef with onion. That is really cool. It's like a meatball. That looks very tasty. And of course, the plate has a carving as well. Birds this time. And of course, for health reasons, we gotta have the veggies, right? This is the Imperial Steamed Bok Choy and Shiitake Mushroom. That looks tasty as well. And of course, you gotta have it all with the rice. Steamed rice, baby. Yeah. Alright guys, we finally come to the last course, the dessert, which is a stuffed lotus seed with long gun syrup. Ah, this looks so good and refreshing. Dessert. Nice. 
simple but fabulous end to a very royal meal. Thank you very much. Alright guys, it looks like I spoke too soon. I thought we were done, but it uh, looks like we have another course here, an extra course of moon cake. He wasn't on the menu, so this is quite a nice surprise. Oh yeah, look at that. Pretty, so dense. Moon cake for dessert. My second dessert, moon cake. Matcha or something, we'll see. Mm. It is matcha. Delicious. Love matcha. As good as this royal meal was, there's another aspect to the experience that goes beyond the food. You can wear these royal garments to really get in the spirit of the meal. But this was too touristy for me. I'm a traveler, not a tourist. So no way was I doing this. No sir, absolutely not, not in a million years. Till next time, my travel eating subjects. Till next time.